Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vanilla Raccoon, and welcome to the Pound Key Hesiathan SMP Season 1. If I remember correctly, this should be Episode 3. I am on a roll with recording so much content from this series, along with the existing SMP for all of those who are watching as well. But today, we are, well, in this episode, we are joined by the man, the myth, the legend, the man of the desert, Winter Grave. How are you doing, dude? Hello, and hello everyone out there. Uh, I see you're enjoying your bath with a pig. What can I say? I love a good bath with a pig. You're having a good time there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, so what are we doing in this episode, dude? Uh, well, um, I was setting up uh, since last time, uh, since the uh, launch of the server. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, I, I remember you mentioning that uh, you had a trouble... Uh, while farming for gunpowder during the night, and all the villagers had died. Unfortunately, R.I.P. Well, there's there's one smart villager that ran to the mountains and got up there, and uh, I found it, oh. and it's safe. Oh. But uh, I guess we should bring it down here and put it in one of these houses. Okay, so if we were to pick a random house, which one would you go with? Well, anyone that doesn't have a sign, but to make this thing easier, it would be one of these houses that is closer to the place where that unfortunate villager is. Okay, uh, okay so I see Jeff claimed that house. This house is open, along with this one. You say the villager is up there? The villager is here. It's there where that cobblestone formation is there. Up okay. there. Okay, so what I'm thinking... I don't know how he got up there. He was so scared that uh, he just ran and uh, and panicked and came here. Villagers is he still be here? villagers. Is okay, he... it is still here. Okay, I was about to say, if he's not still there, then <laughs> uh, this is going to go south so quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So... But I, I made sure I made sure if he had some light in there, mm -hmm. so there couldn't be like a zombie spawn or anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's totally protected without any corners exposed, because, you know, zombies can hit you through corners. Okay, um, so I think I know where we want to relocate this guy to. Mm -hmm. The top floor of this house here. Ooh. Because one, that. it appears to be the closest to him. And two, mm -hmm. that's less work that we have to do. And it if, seems. And if so I'm, this house isn't clean? I don't believe so. I don't see a sign. Why are the houses hard beds in it? That's, uh, well, that that's very useful, but uh, I find it weird. So, villagers sleep? Oh, do they? They do. They lay in bed with their eyes wide open after a long Dude. day of work and everything. It's, okay, you know what? It's honestly very, very, very creepy. Yeah, but because, <laughs> not, not just because of that. Dude, they're evolving. <laughs> Are they going to become players in the future? Oh dear. Oh, real okay. quick, real quick. Let me see your clock. That, yeah, that is that is what I was talking about. Um, I dropped this. I'm not getting the message, I don't know why. The current date is day eight of summer of year two. Okay, you do get the message, but I don't. I so do. maybe I have something messed up with my player. Oh, you got the book. I did get the uh, book. Finally. So cool. Okay, so uh, story time with Uncle Nilla. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, we yeah. are getting so distracted, but it's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> page one of eight, Vanilla Seasons by Van and Grave. This book contains information on how seasons work in the game. Month two, day eight, year two. There are four months that represent four seasons in the following order month one spring month two summer month three autumn month four winter i hear it's pretty grave <clears throat> each month consists of 30 days four months make a year you can get information about the current date in your world by dropping a clock to the floor 
spring. Weather and day length in this season are standard. Summer. Summer has longer days and rain is more frequent than in spring or autumn. Autumn. Weather and day length in this season are standard. Winter. In this season, days are shorter and thunderstorms are more frequent. Thanks for using this data pack. For feedback, you can find us in Vanilla Raccoon Winter underscore Grave. Yeah, those are links. If you click them, you go to the sites. Oh, I didn't even realize that. That's Fancy, cool. isn't it? So these uh, Van and Grave Corporation seems like something um, interesting. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So let's try not to be too more distracted. So we're going to be relocating uh -huh. this villager, correct? <laughs> All right. So how are we going to do that? Oh, I just got the message. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's... Oh, what the heck? I just f fell into a hole. Where? Uh, I was about to say, where did you go? You One moment you were in front of me, the next moment yeah. you were gone. I was mm -hmm. like, uh, what's going on here, buddy? Just go. Okay, so the villager is up there, and uh, we have to be careful not to uh, drop him. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we make a minecart system. Minecart. Mm -hmm. Good old... Do you have enough iron? I should have the iron for it. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Noah so... and I went excavating. So, I should have the iron. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, from my perspective at least, Winter and I are about to relocate the villager. And when I bring him back, hopefully everything goes to plan and he doesn't take a break from life. <laughs> what, what do you think, Winter? You think we're going to be successful well, with this? If if he can resurrect, then he can take a break of war on life. Uh, otherwise, he's just going to take like a permanent uh, absence from it. Okay. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, let's pray that everything goes to par. And I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay. So we... Oh. That's perfect timing. <laughs> I know, right? I was about to say. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyways, okay. So, Winter, what are we about to do? Or at least, what um, are we about to try to do? Well, uh, try to put the villager into the minecart. For that, we need the minecart down there. Uh -huh. I'm going to break the cobblestone and hope the villager falls down there. I don't exactly remember where it is. So it should be. that's the correct placement for the minecart. Oh, yeah, that's correct. Okay, so <laughs> oh, God. I'm getting sick. there. It is. I'm for getting some reason. Oh no, dude, <laughs> dude, get in the minecart. What's going get in on? There. Is he there? Is he good? Yeah, it is. Okay, it is okay. there. Okay, okay. Let's... Okay, I'm going to pick <laughs> up rails from here. Uh, uh, uh. Where is it? He he's coming back towards you. Just push him back. Yeah, go back there. <laughs> oh god. Okay, he sat. Oh no, he's moving again. He's moving. <laughs> yeah, he oh, wants to come oh, back. No, to the no, place. no, 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 dude, dude. Okay, dude. And dude, okay, he's gonna fall down. No, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, I got the rails. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna, uh, I'm, oh I'm gonna, man, my I'm, inventory is full. I'm gonna need you to just throw me your rails if you can. I should be able yeah. to pick him up from here. Okay, that <sighs> that should stop him. Okay, let's. I'm going to throw you the rails. Can you get him? I got him. Okay, complete the track. Uh, will do. Okay, I believe the track is finished. So with that, oh god. Okay, so dude, keep going. Go oh, ow! <laughs> Where are you? You fell. I fell. I fell. Okay. I fell again. Ah. Uh... <laughs> 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 okay. Um uh the villager might walk down and fall also if it's not in rails. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm working on that <laughs> now. Okay. Oh, these guys. Okay, let's switch this. Okay. I'm going to need to No, no, no. Oh god. Oh, I'm <laughs> I'm just oh, gonna real... jump. I'm gonna <laughs> jump up here. Okay, okay. Go, go, dude. Go, you. Go, you. All right. So he's in there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this then. I'm going to put 
first the door here. Okay. Then I'm going to use the trap doors to block. Okay, give me some room. Okay. I'm going to put. Let me step down here. Yeah, that. The trap door there, there and there, and close them. So that way, uh, now he's uh, safe in there because zombies cannot um, cannot go in there. I oh, what happened? I oh, I'm like down. Okay, hang on. I oh, cannot yeah. get out of here. <laughs> what did you do? What, what did I you don't know. Do? I'm moving the trapdoors and I got like uh, <laughs> down. Oh, there we go. I don't know what. <laughs> I need to open that trapdoor to reach the villager and break the minecart from him. Oh my my god. Why do trapdoors do that? I don't even know what you're what is... doing at this point. I'm, so I'm trying to break the minecart. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm just, yeah, I am too. Okay, I'm going to break the trapdoor because for some reason the trapdoor is being a jerk and doesn't allow me to. Okay, minecart. Oh, dude, that's creepy. There are the many things in the bed. that are creepy. To which of you? To which are you speaking of this time? The, the villager is in the bed. Yeah, it's I, like I told it's you. It's like I told resting you. in there. I told you, villagers be sleep. They they sleep with both eyes open. It's the most strangest thing you could see in Minecraft. Oh no! What have they done to this game? <laughs> okay. I mean, I could answer we definitely that. Didn't, at the same time. We definitely didn't need that. Okay. Okay, that's a thing. I'm going to pick up the rails. I got. I dropped. I got 16 rails on me. So. All right. Oh. Oh, didn't mean oh that, that was that was a lag spike. Spider. I did not feel that, but okay. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, as you just saw, at least our uh, our pl oh those are skeletons. Our plans to um relocate the villager was a success. And on that note... Seems to have been a success, yeah. It, it appears to have been, yes. So on that note, when I bring it back, it's going to be the third and most likely final clip for this video. And who knows what's going to happen between then and now. So BRB. All right. Okay, Noah. I have two TNT arrows. I will shoot one and you can shoot another. Now, we currently are suffering a huge loss because we lost every villager in our yeah. area. Yeah. The things oh, we do really for TNT arrows though. So it's okay. We'll find other villagers or we'll find another village and relocate them. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the TNT arrow data pack, this is basically what it's going to do. Um, you see that horse right over there at the top of the hill that just jumped up? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> what? This is gone. <laughs> exactly. Welcome to the TNT data arrow data pack. Now I'll let I'll, I'll, I'll let you hold my crossbow. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't need it. Actually, actually, I. I kind of want to try it too. Okay, I was about to say, yeah, so here's the TNT arrow. So I'll let you wind it up, point at anything you want to uh, take your anger out on. I kind of want to take it on the top of that house over there. <laughs> this is totally a bad idea. Hang on, let's, I'm following up behind, but you got a head start of me, so... Hang on. Yeah. Which house are you talking about? The, the tall one? I... <laughs> I let me quickly check to make sure there's no sign because if it's someone's claimed house, then uh... yeah, if it, if it, no, there's no yeah, this one right here. I don't see any. I'm just gonna grab the purple bed. Uh, oh, oh, and yeah, oh. I already ran stacked the chest, or someone else did it. I don't think I did this one. Okay, cool. Okay, let me just uh, get on top of this hillside to get a better vantage point and everything, and then I'm also going to hop into the oh oh. Sounds like you're taking a bit of damage there. A little bit. Okay, so what are you going to shoot at exactly? Just the top of the house. I want to take the top of the house off. Okay, give me a moment. Uh, I'm going to get into position. And... Alright, whenever you're ready, go for it. 
<laughs> these, things, these are horrifying. <laughs> the, the roof is just gone. <laughs> There's nothing left. Now, I will say this. Um, also, crossbow back now. Okay, so I will mention this here and now, sort of as a tease for things to come. One of the data packs that Winter and I are working on, or at least we're currently developing, like, the idea of, is you can put it in your world and designate a certain place for the uh, land or the terrain to regenerate to its natural state. And with that being said, he and I were thinking of possibly having this be a way for us to incorporate UHCs into this server. With that being said, if you can get your hands on a TNT arrow in these UHCs, the terrain mm -hmm. is going to get a makeover a thousand times plus. Well, you win if you do. <laughs> oh man. Right, the, ho the house has been rebuilt. Okay. That's good, I think. Cuz if think anyone so if anyone was thinking of inhabiting it, you're welcome. We restored it. <laughs> the whole roof just came <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, Winter. So you supplied me with the gunpowder. I did. I have the arrow. With that being and it's said, uh, mm -hmm. it, of course it would be raining. You are timing your recorded with the rain. <laughs> that is what is happening. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're just going to roll with the punches here, okay? Uh-huh, all right. So even though it says spectral arrow, oh, there you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Oh, you have a crossbow. This is a very, very dangerous. That is the TNT arrow. Dude. Okay, so throw it back I, to me. I have a bow throw with it. one shot. Okay, throw that arrow back to me, but don't let me explode. Let me demonstrate to you the powers of this thing. Okay. Okay, okay. So when I showcase this to Noah, which by now in this video at mm -hmm. least that clip would have already played, so you guys, the viewers, already know what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. But, uh... <laughs> oh, dear lord. I, I I feel it's something is coming up here. Oh, yeah. Something is definitely going to be happening. It's okay, uh -huh. though. It's okay. All right. So, <clears throat> you see that cow? I see it now. Okay. Three? Two, one. Hey, uh -oh. that, that that was oh. supposed to be a TNT arrow, not a spectral arrow. Hey. Uh huh. Um. Mm, do we have a problem here? Okay, so we definitely figured out what the issue was, and I am mm -hmm. pretty much ready to showcase to Winter for the first time ever, not like it's the second time at all, uh, exactly what mm -hmm. the TNT arrow does. So, uh, I'll let you pick. Where should I aim at? Okay, you were going to shoot a cow. Uh, uh Shoot next to that chip. Okay. Oh, stop moving, sheep. Okay. Okay. Peeps, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> the sheep was gone. <laughs> sheep no more. Oh, sheep. Oh, for science, though, you were greatly sacrificed. Uh huh. Okay, so, um, on that note, uh, Winter, is there anything else that we want to do for our villager friend? Uh, okay, I guess that's, that's, it should be fine already. Why are so many animals here? There weren't so many on this place. Suddenly, a lot of them spawned. I don't know what happened there. Uh, the villagers should be fine for now. It's already boarded, uh, inside that room. Mm hmm So, it shouldn't have any problems, uh... No zombies can get him. He mm -hmm. cannot escape. Or can him? Uh, can they open trapdoors now? 
pretty sure they can. Um, well, the way I put them, every, even though if, if he opens the trap doors, uh, he cannot get out. It's uh, already there. I said, oh my god. This happened again. Oh lord. Oh, there she is. He wants to get out so bad. It's like, let me out. What Whoa, are you doing here? Why is he <laughs> like amped up on so much caffeine? What did you do, yeah. mate? He really wants to go out. And for some reason, I cannot see what his traits are. He just nods his uh, head like that. I cannot, so the I way, cannot see what it is. The way villagers work now is you can actually take for... for Let's call this type of villager a plain villager. Mm -hmm. Not like the biome, but just plain, no profession. So, you can actually influence which profession the villager takes on. Oh. So, like, if you wanted a librarian, if you had a plain villager, you could, in theory, influence them to become a librarian. If you wanted a cartographer, you could do the same thing, which is influence them to become a cartographer. If you want a farmer, um, or better or worse, a nitwit, not sure why you want one of those, uh, mm -hmm. you can influence them to become either one. I'm not exactly sure how to do so. That knowledge is, you know, above my pay grade and everything. Uh, because mm -hmm. it's, it's technical parts of Minecraft, and I don't... That's just... That's, that stuff just goes okay. in so that, that, the seems, other. that seems to be calling for experiments. Yes. But needless to say, whichever profession you want this villager to be, mm -hmm. so be it. That's that's awesome. And I'm definitely going to try to, to, to figure, figure that out, because uh, uh, it, it seems interesting. Mm -hmm. They can do a lot of, a lot of things now. Oh, yes. I mean, cool. they can even sleep with both eyes open. Yeah, uh, that's that's a power <laughs> I don't have. So. Uh, that's a little creepy in hindsight. Uh -huh. So there we go then. Uh, I guess that is going to be all um, for today. Yes. Uh, real yes. quick. Um, okay, good. You're following me. Okay. So real quick. Uh would you like to walk my viewers through with your whole uh, cow pen here as to like what the... Uh, oh yeah, I did this. Uh, this was like an off-camera work uh -huh. uh, because we need uh, we need a good source of food and uh, potatoes just don't do the thick. So I made this little uh, chaotic uh, cow pen farm here mm -hmm. so we can uh, fill it up with loads and loads of cows so we can get loads and loads of leather for useful things like books, bookshelves, a steak, and all of that. So uh, my my job during the off-camera hours is going to be like to to breed a massive amount of them okay. and uh, murder them and uh, get some steak going here. <laughs> now I will ask you this before I uh, finish off my episode here. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I noticed you left out one thing. In regards to the leather. Yeah. Are you what? aware that we can now make leather armor? Horse armor? Horse armor? Oh, you so can you, make them. So you don't know. No, I'm not aware. Yeah, you're smarter <laughs> than me right now. Yeah, you have the knowledge. I'm just uh, I'm just the experiment guy. Oh, what can I wow, so that's much? amazing. So you, you can craft the armor, just leather armor? Yeah. For horses? Yeah, and you can dye it. Dude. <laughs> okay. <gasps> you, you know why you know why I find that awesome? <laughs> because I always like to wear like uh, dyed leather armor because you there's so many colors you can put into them. You can do a lot of mixes. If it, if the horse armor works in the same way, there we go. If, if it works in the same way, uh, well, we, we can do like some sort of, uh, I don't know, um, teams or uh, some something that involves the color of the horse armor uh, to, to do like factions. Server? I don't know. Yeah, there, there's a bunch of things that, that I can imagine with that. We're going to have so much fun. Oh, that is going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna have to do it for this video. But uh, Winter, it's been a pleasure having you appear on the video. It's been quite some time since you and I last did a collaboration. And yes. uh, this actually, dare I say, the last collaboration we did was kind of Google's UHC. Uh-huh, it was, uh, yeah, it was that. Okay, so real quick, for my uh, viewers at least. Um, so whenever I get asked what's the most craziest thing I've done, craziest thing I've done in Minecraft, it's always gonna be the time when I did a UHC with Winter Grave, where we came across a skeleton spawner and we turned it into a skeleton grinder, uh, <laughs> and we just farmed it for experience, and we also had it enchanting station and everything. So we were that like, was fun time. It was. Oh. Anyways, enough reminiscing. That's going to have to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. It lets me know that you look forward to seeing more content like this. And if you are new to the channel, then consider subscribing. But do not forget to turn on notifications for all videos. So that way, when one goes live, you can share it with your family, friends, but most importantly, your daily beloved pets. My name is Vanilla Raccoon. You can find me on social medias with that name. Winter, where can people find you? They can find me. They can find me in YouTube and also in a Minecraft course for site. Uh, I think I'm going to be leaving links to all of that down in the description. Alrighty, cool, cool. Also, in case you guys are wondering, yes, the Vanilla Seasons data pack is available for download via the Curse Forge launcher. Like this video and all the others that will come from the series, a link to that can be found right beneath the like and subscribe, like and subscribe button of this video. With that being said, my name is Vanilla Raccoon. You guys have been awesome. I would like to wish you a happy day and peace out. And you may all be well. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>